Did everyone uh, have a good night last night? Did you have a good sleep? I know some of you didn't because of our fellow countryman, Manny Pacquiao had a fight yesterday, didn't he? Um, I'm a bit disappointed in the way how things go, but that's boxing, you know? Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, you know? But it's not, it doesn't matter about getting knocked down as our brother Dave said before. It's uh, being able to pick yourself up and finding the strength with the Lord. Um, it made me kind of think a lot watching the fight. Uh, there's a few things that I wanted to bring up, like um, I, I always saw Floyd Mayweather as the baddie, and then Manny Pacquiao was the good guy. Uh, you know, when Floyd is being a bit yabang, and then Manny Pacquiao always giving, uh, being humble, and being uh, thankful to the Lord for what he has. Um, but there's one thing that surprised me about Floyd, uh, Floyd Mayweather, whether he was sincere about it or not. At the end of the fight, I was just saying this to my wife. You know, he, they asked him, um, you know, what do you want to say about the fight? And Floyd Mayweather was, um, he said, first of all, I want to thank God. Um, so it's good to hear that. But it's another thing, whether it's sincere or not from him, because he's always talking about the money and the love for money. But it is always good to hear uh, that he, he put first uh, God in, in, his, uh, in his thanks. Um, but with uh, Manny Pacquiao, even though he lost the fight, um, the people still love him because he has exactly he has a good heart. Uh, he's he's um, he became a Christian and uh, he's, he humbled himself and he he always thanks the Lord for everything he has, all the blessings he has. Uh, he's probably done so many mistakes as he has admit, admitted, um, but it's the way forward, not not the past or what is what has happened in the past and all the bad things that maybe he has done or mistakes he's done um, and he's just trying to put things right what, what he believes was wrong and I just wanted to share uh, one passage from from the Bible from 2nd Corinthians 12 uh, verses 9 to 10 2nd Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 and it says there but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. You know, that's... Uh, that verse came to me when, even though Pacquiao was defeated, but uh, he was able to, to pick himself up, be strong, be thankful for what he has, and with God's strength, because everyone is going through troubles, every single one of us, you know. You may be experiencing some health problems. You may be experiencing some uh, difficulties at your work. You know, uh, maybe your boss is, is really getting on your nerves, you know. Um, maybe at school, you, you might feel like you're bullied, you know, and which is a sad thing. Even at work, some people feel that they're bullied as well. You know, it's never too young to feel like you're bullied. Um, everyone's, that's my point. My point is everyone is going through some kind of hardship, some kind of struggle. Uh, and sometimes we we take it upon ourselves to think we can do it alone. You know, I, I can do this. I, I don't, you know, I don't need help from anyone else. Or I, it's okay, I can do this on my own. But the more we try to do it on our own, the more we struggle. And, and God has taught us that, you know, it's okay to admit that times are tough. And you know what? It's okay to admit to God, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't, I need your help, God, you know, and being humble and being able to surrender yourself to the Lord and asking for help uh, from God, he acknowledges that, and he, as a parent to us, because he is the Lord our Father, and he as a parent, as all parents in this, in this church or out there, all of us as parents, we realize we always want to help our, our son, our daughters, um, and it's good 
that we uh, hear from our from our sons and daughters, you know, dad or mom, you know, I need help, and um, and at least they're coming to us, you know, not not going out there for you know all these troubles uh, and and doing something bad in a, in a gang or, or taking drugs or anything bad, you know, they're coming to us as as parents, and we as as parents we have to guide them, just like the Lord our God. He guides us, you know, through our, with our prayers, um, with our decisions, all of our decisions that we're making, that which are tough. We always pray for his guidance. So I just wanted to share that with you, okay? Um, there's also a time where we come to, which we call testimony time. If you're unfamiliar with testimony time, it's a, it's a time where someone is able to express their gratitude and give thanks to the Lord by stepping up here and sharing with the rest of us. Now, you know, you don't have, there's no one is forced <laughs> to give thanks to the Lord. But we all know, and God knows, that He is so grateful when, when we get up and we give thanks to the Lord. Even if we're sit, uh, praying at home and we, we're saying to God, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm so grateful for you uh, helping me through this time in trouble. And He loves that. But how much more does he love when someone comes up here, stands in front of everyone, and expresses how, how thankful they are to God? And it's not a, it's not a, a way of boasting. It's not a way of, um, oh, yeah, I've, I've got this or this. It's just a way to uh, share amongst each other and, and give encouragement. Because who knows, maybe your story or your prayers that have been answered, um, that you share with the rest of the church, maybe that will encourage them, you know, to, to do better in their lives, to, to do something positive, to stand up here, and then, and then maybe they, something good will happen in their life, and they will have the courage to kind of stand up here and say, you know what, oh, I'm so grateful to the Lord that this happened. So... If you want to, now's the time to um, feel free to stand up and uh, share a testimony or give and give and thanks to the Lord. Um, I always give thanks to the Lord for my family. So I, I want to, my, my health of my family, my health for myself. Um, you know, there's, there's little things that we always go through uh, in troubles with my family, arguments and struggles with our because me and my wife were, you know, young parents, but we're still learning with our kids, and um, I'm so grateful, and I thank the Lord for the health of my kids and my family, and being able to watch them grow, and I thank the Lord so much for that, so amen to that. Does anyone else want to uh, stand up and share a blessing? Okay, so... so Okay, uh, I thank God for, uh, for everything. And uh, one thing that impressed me with Manny Pacquiao is what he said. He's fighting with unbelievers, but uh, he is the champion because uh, he's a child of God. When you are a child of God, you are the champion. And what I want to thank God for is our Bible study on Friday. We will entertain but these, two, uh, these young family and we are so blessed. We are so blessed, and uh, yesterday we went to my brother's house as well, and really we had a good time because we learned together uh, what the Word of God is saying in the Bible. So we encourage you, if you want to open your house for the work of God, we will come to you. We will come to bring the good news in your home. And what I thank for is uh, my brother, my sister-in-law, and uh, their son accepted Christ. As a savior that is one thing we thank for because uh we are here aiming for eternity we're not after the temporary thing we are after eternity so god bless and one thing i am so blessed with the music them as if i went to a concert wonderful wonderful thank you well done guys amen Thank you to our one and only sister Serena for her words of encouragement. So true. Now I'm so blessed as well uh, to be part of the worship team and to to um, just to feel the presence of the Lord while we're singing because uh, that's how I connect with the Lord when I'm when I'm singing and when I'm 
even at home, if I'm just playing the guitar on my own, or especially, especially if I'm playing with the worship team, even just on a practice. I really feel that, so I hope you feel that too. Um, does anyone else want to stand up and um, share a blessing that they've... Uh, Sister Ruth? It's good to see Sister Ruth back again. Good. We are in the house of the Lord. We thank God that we are here special because we come from home and then we go and gather like children of God. Hallelujah. We are all here. We are children of God. Yeah. No grandchildren. We are all children of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Believers, we have to be strong in the Lord. When I stand in the front, whenever, wherever I am, when I praise God, I praise him because he has done miracles and wonders in my life and in my family. But when the devil comes to attack you, it, it has a, a way how it attacks you. And you feel it, you know, bad. You feel miserable. You feel anything. But when you are praising God, you, you can't, you know, keep like he, clapping hands like this, come with the boldness and say, God, you have done this for yes. me. I'm praising God for that. So I'm praising God that he has started a ministry in this church, door to door. Hallelujah. It is a miracle. Eh? And the people are opening our homes for us to visit them and tell them the good news. That's wonderful. There's one family which is here who welcomed us this, this after, yesterday. We want to welcome them. Can you stand up and we clap hands for you, sister? Yeah, big, big hallelujah for them. My sisters and brothers, you are welcome. This is your church. This is the seat where you are sitting. That is where you are. You have God planned for that. Hallelujah. As I was walking from that door to coming this side, the Lord showed me one thing. He showed me this lady, this young boy, that God is going to use him mightily. That was the hand of God. And God is going to do miracles and wonders through this boy. I'm not talking my things, but the Spirit of God is telling me something about this boy. I don't know him, but God is opening the doors and get, uh, everybody is going to come through this boy to the salvation. God bless you, brother. And we want to welcome the another brother of ours behind. Brother, stand up and we greet the church. Welcome. This is your home. And feel at home, wherever you are. Feel at home. Come and worship together like we are the children of God. We are here to bless God. We are here to praise the name of the living one. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't fear. Have a seat. You can sit. If you have a problem, come. If you don't have a problem, come. The door, we have two doors. The other door is open, and this door is open. Just come in. The, our pastor is 24 hours on the telephone. If you have a telephone, if you have a problem, of, uh, we have a sister, Pastor Serena and uh, Pastor Ronnie. They have a telephone. If you, ha you are sick, just pick a phone and tell him, if you have any problem, wait, because the Bible tells us that if you have a problem, go to the leader, brother, how do they call it? Call your ch church leader to pray for you. Hallelujah. Don't be there, don't be there and be miserable. No, you don't have a, a job. Tell him, oh, brother, can you pray for me? It, we are on the straight line to heaven. Hallelujah. We are on the straight line to heaven. We are not worshiping any other people. God is alive. Hallelujah. He's still alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ruth, for those words of encouragement. Uh, welcome. Um, it's so true, you know. Uh, some people experience troubles. Uh, being in a bad crowd or just coming off the street, they don't, they're lost and they have no strength, you know. But we find the strength within, with God, you know. He's going to be there for us. We've all done silly mistakes. We've all done things that we're not proud of. But he doesn't focus on the past. He focuses on now and the change that we can do within. 
And that change, you know, who knows, if you stand up, if you feel that change and it's changed your life, then that's great. But imagine if you want to share that with the rest of the church. You know, um, so if, uh, if you feel that you want to share a blessing or a testimony with us, it's always free for you to come up. Does anyone else want to uh, stand up and uh, share a blessing or uh, 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 something they've experienced recently uh, during the week? Um, okay, Pastor Romy. Okay, uh, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Uh, I really would like to thank the Lord for uh, great, great things that He's doing. I know, I don't know whether you're seeing it, but in my heart, I can see it, you know. Uh, the church is very new, actually. TJM is just uh, almost uh, three years, you know, when we started it. And also two years, two years, sorry. Uh, and there's so many things that uh, have happened and, uh, in the past. But you see, uh, the Lord says that just be still and remain faithful and things will happen. You know? And that is what we are seeing in our hearts, that something's going on very, very great, you know, with this ministry. And I really wanted to share it with you. So it is a great blessing to, for you to, to be able to uh, witness it yourselves. And I would really would like to thank the Lord for, for uh, the families that there He's bringing in. And TGIF is about relationship. It is about family relationship. As we always say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I'm really so grateful to the Lord for what He's doing, I think. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. It, uh, as Pastor Roman says, it's not about, uh, you know, status, position, or rank, or, you know, religion. It's, uh, church is about relationship. Your relationship with God. You know, being able to be closer to Him. Um, maybe you felt like you lost that faith before, or you've lost that connection before. Um, but just admitting to God and, and um, realizing that you need his help um, to carry on. You know, he, he, he acknowledges that, he knows that. What's, what you're going through, he knows all of the troubles that you're going through. So never think that you're going through it alone, any, any struggles, okay? Amen to that. So, does anyone else want to share uh, something with us as a testimony or a, or a prayer or anything that you want to share with the rest of the church? No, don't be shy. If, you, uh, <laughs> um, if not, then there's always next week or next month or a couple of months down the line. You know, don't be shy. Don't feel pressured that you have to come up here. It's, it's your own choice, you know. And, um, we all appreciate your confidence in being able to stand up here. Uh, but before we go to the speaker today, uh, I just want to share one verse with you uh, from Psalms 28, verse 7 to 8. That's Psalms 28, verse 7 to 8. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to him in song. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. You know, that prayer goes out to each and every one of us. Um, that passage actually, you know, is connected to praise and worship, to our way of life. So many things that we can get connected to as we all relate to that. So, amen. So today, I just want to, uh, I just want to uh, have someone else do a, an announcement or come up here. Okay, uh, hello brother, how are you doing? Let's give our, our friend a round of applause. How are you doing, what's your name? Adam. Adam, Adam welcome Adam, okay. Do you want to um, tell us what you're doing? Yes, uh, actually I came to the UK around two months ago. Streets for five weeks now, uh, without a job, uh, without a place to stay, and uh, now for a week uh, I've been working, and tomorrow I'm moving into my room. So. 
Right, and that's amazing. Um, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. Wow. You see that, uh, everyone? Um, the Lord works in mysterious ways.